Hello students, welcome to class. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now. Follow that vegan teacher, she will show you how. If you haven't yet subscribed to my latest TikTok channel, it's called its.that.vegan.teacher. Have a look. As of today, I have 21,000 followers there and I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> well, I had to laugh when I saw this comment because you are clearly somebody who knows me. Those are the words to a song that I composed. And yes, that's exactly how I feel. I don't understand why all minority groups are not automatically vegan. If you don't like oppression, why do you oppress others? And I say this to every minority group. So think of all the minority groups that you know and ask yourself, why is it that they exploit animals? They pay people to hurt them. They pay people to enslave them, to kidnap them, to murder them, to take their milk, like all of it, steal their eggs. It's just mind boggling to me. I mean, anytime that there is an oppressed group, I'm there to defend them. I'm there to speak out for women's rights, uh, BLM, everybody you know, LGBTQ, but why are they not in turn helping us to defend the animals? LGBTQ, we support you, but if you don't like oppression, why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? LGBTQ, we support you, but if you don't like oppression, why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? Run, run, run from humans, they're trying to stab you, they're trying to murder you, to call you bacon, and burn you in a frying pan. Hey there. So you say that you can't be vegan because you have allergies to things. So why don't you eat the other things? I mean, many vegans have allergies. My mother-in-law who's 82, she's allergic to corn and she's allergic to wheat. So she has nothing with gluten in it. She's also allergic to soy, so she never has tofu, but she's doing fine. I mean, make a list of the things that you can eat. And I guarantee you, there will be thousands of items on that list. Just go to the grocery store, the pad of paper, and say, yes, I can eat that, yes, I can eat that, and then work around that. See, your allergies are not the animal's fault. It's not their problem, right? Think about it logically. You don't need to hurt animals. You don't need to involve them. So I'm sure there's lots of fruits you can eat, lots of veggies. You can't eat one type of pasta, find another one. That's it, you can do this. Go to howdoigovegan.com, sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com, sing it again. Howdoigovegan.com, sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com. It's all in your head. All of it. That whole story you just made up, it's all in your head. There are vegans in the Olympics. How do you think that they do it? Where do you think they get their protein from? Plants. Where do you think giraffes get their protein and bison? Where do you think the cows get their protein and the pigs and the chickens that you eat from plants? So this is a total BS excuse that you're using. If you wanna know where to get protein, just simply Google it, but you really don't have to worry about it at all. I mean, I've been vegan almost six years and it's never been an issue. I have no problems with it whatsoever. There are thousands of foods that you can choose to eat. It is not the animal's fault that you have a thinking disorder. That's what you have right now, thinking disorder. Just change the way that you think and you will be able to be vegan with no problem whatsoever. All right? Seriously. Come back and let me know how it goes. Plants have protein, they really, really do. Being vegan is healthy, you know it's true. Plants have protein, they really, really do. So why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? No more excuses for you. What's in your body? Why are you eating meat when you can choose compassion with everybody you eat? Do you want your body to be a garden or do you want it to be a morgue? If you're brave enough to learn the truth, go to don'twatch.org. Do you want your body to be a garden or do you want it to be a morgue? If you're brave enough to learn the truth, go to don'twatch.org. Hi, thanks for your question. So you're asking about vegans and alcohol. And yes, vegans can drink alcohol. As long as there's no animal products inside the item that you're buying, it's fine. Now you gotta be careful though, because certain beers and some kind of wines do have some animal products in them. I know it sounds crazy, but they sometimes filter them through some part of a fish. So what you do then, if you're not sure, is you Google 
you take the app called Barnivore, Barnivore, and you just type in the, the brand that you have, whatever it is, and it will pop up with a huge list of things that aren't vegan and things that are vegan. So again, it's called Barnivore. Now, to be honest, I don't really drink alcohol. I mean, I might have a beer uh, once in the summer or something like that, but very rarely because it's just not good for you. It's not good for your liver. liver. And every time you're drinking something like that, you're, in, you're replacing it. You could have a smoothie instead. Being vegan means being the change you want to see in the world. So share the dish song be better. force you to do what's right all i can do is hope that you think of them the next time you pick up your fork and you take a bite okay so i guess by ed you don't mean erectile dysfunction i guess you mean eating disorder so let me ask you this what does your eating disorder have to do with the animals why are you taking it out on the animals by hurting them? It's your problem. You know, if I had a problem with my heart, let's say I needed a heart transplant, that would be my problem. I wouldn't have a right to go up to your body and rip it out and give it to myself. Right? So your eating disorder is not the animal's fault. If you had an eating disorder whereby you needed to eat your neighbor's cat, what do you think your doctor would say? What would your psychiatrist say or your psychologist? I'm sure they would say, um, it's fine you have an eating disorder, let's deal with it, but let's not hurt the animal, right? So I want you to try to reframe that in your head. Seriously, think about it. Go fruit yourself, go fruit yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan, go fruit yourself, go fruit yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan. Hi there. Thank you so much for your question. I don't know if you're asking because you want to know about food, but let me first begin by saying that veganism is not about food. It's about animal ethics. So the first thing you want to do is go to Carnism Debunked. That's a great site to check out if you want all of your questions answered there. Because once you become vegan, everybody's going to say, well, what about protein? What about B12? And you know, aren't you going to die if you're vegan and things like that? So what you want to do is get yourself armed with all the information that you need. And that's again called Carnism Debunked. So go to that site. All right, that's, that's one thing. Another thing is if you haven't yet figured out what happens to the animals, let's say you are just sort of here and you don't really know what veganism is about, go and watch the important documentaries. I watched Earthlings called Earthlings, and that made me cry. It made me realize that how horrible of a person I'd been because I was vegetarian for a long time and I thought I was doing good for the animals, but I really wasn't because we really have to take away cheese and eggs as well and any dairy products. So I don't know if you've seen that one. It's called earthlings.com. There's another one called Dominion, and that's another one that was made a little more recently, but everything that you see in these videos is undercover footage of what exactly you've been paying for. And you talk about every animal, and it is just heart-breaking. Like, I had no idea that humans were that cruel. I didn't believe it because, of course, you know, McDonald's and all of these places lie to us with their advertisements, and especially the milk industry. They lie so much by making it seem like these cows are being treated well, and that they're on these beautiful pastures uh, in these beautiful pastures and it's so not true so you can also watch it dairy is scary like the list goes on dairy is scary is only five minutes long maybe that's one you could memorize but when it comes to food start adding new foods google vegan recipes simple as that just google easy vegan recipes and you will come across so many of them on youtube i mean just so many different accounts i like to follow an account called simnet nutrition he has about a half a million followers and he makes these, these different meals in his home. He's a very low-key kind of nice guy. He's out, he's in, in Canada like I am. And uh, he also shows himself doing different exercises, but like he, he's a nice guy and he explains, you know, how to, how to cook different sauces and how to make it easy. He also eats relatively simply like I do, like just a pile of different, different piles of different veggies with delicious zippy sauces like tangy and uh, anyway, so there's that. So I hope that helps you to understand uh, where to start. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and put them in the comments. I'll try to scroll through and read them today if that doesn't help. But again, go to watchdominion.com, go that one, and you go to Carnism Debunked. 
and you want to go to Dairy is Scary. That's only five minutes long, and you know, just start there. All right. I wish you the best of luck. I'm so proud of you for trying to become as vegan as possible. Great job. All right. So thank you so much for being here, everyone. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like subscribe, press the notification bell, help me get the animals out of hell. And also coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Click on them. Be curious. Look around my site. I have 1,500 videos that you can plow through. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Let's all that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's